Okay guys, so midnight's got the plow on, ready to go. Well, I need a few more tweaks here and there. But got the plow on, basically it's ready to go if we have a storm. Uh, I do have a few concerns about plowing uh, with a lifted truck. A uh, lifted truck really is no different than a regular truck mechanical wise. Uh, there's not any more weak parts, I don't think, than uh, if you don't have it lifted. I don't feel like any of the drivetrain or drive shafts or whatever are, are any concern. Uh, my concern is with the big 35s that are on it. Uh, now, for... Ice and packed snow, really what you want is a skinny tire. A uh, skinny tire with a smaller footprint uh, is really going to be the best for that situation. You see a lot of the rally guys do that when they run uh, in the snow. Um, but these are big 35s, 12 and a half inches wide. Uh, they are great for soft sand, uh, even soft snow um, and mud when you're trying to float on top of something. But uh, on, on packed snow and ice, you want that small contact patch to transfer all your weight onto a smaller area. Now you would think that wouldn't, that wouldn't work out. Uh, but it gives you better traction because your weight is focused more on a, a single area than if it's spread out over a bigger area because that's just going to cause you slippage. Uh, so that's a concern of mine. Uh, these are mud tires too. Uh, if I would have known I was going to put the plow on this thing, I probably would have got the, the KO2 all terrains. Didn't know that at the time. Possibly uh, thinking about getting maybe a set of winter tires for this thing uh, for the plow. We'll see how that uh, works out. Um, another concern that I'm having, that I'm thinking about, is uh, getting these tires to fit in the wheel well. Now, when I turn full lock, I am catching... I'm catching this fender flare pretty good. I think I've got it clearanced out here enough, but uh, I am catching the back, so I'm gonna have to try to work out um, maybe some bump stops. I don't know if I'm gonna go with the Timbrins or the, the Super Springs or Sumo Springs, or I do have a set of Z71 bump stops I might throw in here to see if that helps. But anyway, I gotta do something to keep the nose from going down on this thing. Uh, this truck handles the plow a lot better than the, the 2500 that I had. This is a 2500 HD, so it's real close to um, a 3500 uh, like I had on the, the dually that I had. So actually, this, this handles it really good. Uh, I've gone down the road with it just as it is. No weight in the back or anything, and it, it feels real good. So um, I think we're good there. I just need a few tweaks, and I think this truck's going to handle this plow really like nothing. Um, one more concern I do have about the truck, and it's about uh, the, the turning radius. Uh, when I put this lift in, I lost all kinds of turning radius uh, in the steering. Um, I know the, the wheels are pushed out a little bit more uh, with the lift and everything, but it's pretty bad. Um, I have trouble getting through tight um, drive throughs and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of times I'll have to back up because I just don't have the turning radius. The, the wheels don't turn as far as they used to. I don't know if that's because they have to limit how much you can turn, otherwise the big 35s you're going to get into the fenders or whatever, but 
Um, that, that's kind of a concern because some of the things I do are pretty tight and I need really all the turning radius I can get. So that's a concern of mine uh, with, this, with this lifted truck. Um, uh, I got, actually, I got another concern is with the height of the truck. I, I know I've, I've hit some branches and stuff before with just normal size trucks. Uh, a lot of people don't clear trees and limbs and stuff that high because it, they usually have normal sized cars and trucks. So I may end up hitting a lot of stuff, trees, branches and stuff, which is not going to be good. I think it was the end of the world. This truck don't have the best paint, but still it's not something you want to do with smack and uh, uh, your roof and everything with uh, tree limbs. But um, I guess that's pretty much all my concerns over the lifted truck. Uh, I said before uh, when I started the install of the plow, the truck has a lot of newer parts. So I, f I feel pretty confident that it's going to be uh, fairly reliable. Uh, I don't see myself having too much in the way of, of breakdowns, uh, but we'll see, I guess. Um, but anyway, I guess I uh, just wanted to put this video out here, and uh, I guess we'll see how the, the lifted truck uh, handles the plow um, once we get some snow. Uh, snow should be right around the corner here, and uh, when I get some snow, I'm going to grab my cameras and... We'll see how she does.